Ames, NY when Nick Drummond and Patrick Bacher heard the tall tales about the former owner of the house they were buying, they brushed it off as hearsay. They were in the process of purchasing a 1915 American Foursquare just on the edge of the village of Ames, New York, and a few people had mentioned the home was rumored to have once belonged to a bootlegger in the 1920s. It was sort of the local urban legend that it was built by a bootlegger, Drummond said. We went with it, but we also knew that this was totally made up. And the story still seemed fictional, at least until October when Drummond ripped off the rotting, wooden skirting on the home's mudroom and something tumbled out at his feet. He thought it was insulation at first. But what he had accidentally discovered was a package, the brown paper had ripped when he pulled it out of the wall, and inside were six glass bottles wrapped individually with straw. They were full of whiskey. All this is happening in a few seconds, of course, and I'm just like, what, what is going on? Drummond said. His confusion, he said, vanished as soon as he realized what the bottles held inside. It hit me, after kind of looking at all of that, like, oh my god. This is a stash. Drummond, 30, and Bacher, 29, closed on their 2,000-square-foot home in September 2019. They had left behind their fast-paced, city lives in Baltimore and were eager for something different. The house, they knew, needed extensive work if it was going to be restored. There was wallpaper everywhere even on the ceilings, Drummond said with a groan, the plaster needed extensive repair and all the electrical and plumbing would have to be replaced. Among many other changes, the couple planned to renovate the kitchen and add a powder room to the existing mudroom. The mudroom, which is basically an enclosed porch addition that Drummond Estimates was built in the 1920s, provides entry into the kitchen from the back of the house. When Drummond ripped off that wooden skirting and made the initial discovery, the pair couldn't help but wonder if there was more to find in the mudroom. There's this hatch in the floor, this wood hatch. We knew about it, it's not like it's particularly well hidden, Drummond said. We're like, so now we have to climb in the hatch. Wedged into the dirty, tight space between the bare ground and the floor overhead, Drummond looked up to where he expected to see floor joists. Instead, he saw boards screwed into the joists, creating a hidden storage space beneath the mudroom floor. We were able to pry off the end board that they put on, he said, and we found more. After a lot of research online and a trip to the county clerk's office to look at old deeds, Drummond learned a lot about the home's former owner, Count Adolf Humpfner.